hi guys welcome back to another vlog my first official moving vlog of this series and i'm so so excited i move in two days so today is tuesday september 13th i move on thursday september 15th so i have the rest of today it's already the afternoon and then all day tomorrow to pack up my whole entire apartment and move over to a house and i'm so excited and i am very excited to bring you guys along with me for this new chapter and journey and it's just so crazy to think about where i was when i first started my youtube channel that's one thing i love about youtube is that i literally get to document every single part of my life so i can go back and like watch videos of my past apartments and just like different places that i've moved to over the years and the fact that so many of you guys watching this have been with me for all of the past moves and just like all the other chapters in my life it just makes me so emotional <laughs> and i just am very very excited for this next chapter and for what's to come and to experience it with you guys so i'm very grateful and i just can't wait to move get everything packed up i know that you guys are gonna be obsessed with the new house i was just actually there this morning after i had breakfast and coffee and stuff i did like a little montage this morning which you guys just watched but i had a workout right after and i actually went to the new house this morning to measure a bunch of stuff because i have such large pieces of furniture i was like i need to make sure that all this stuff fits before i even have the movers bring it over there i want to see if i can like sell a few pieces and just like get rid of some pieces that i know we're not going to fit which you guys are never going to believe the brand new dining table that I just bought, the rectangular one, which I was replacing my round dining table with, does not even fit in the kitchen or the dining room. And I'm just like, of course this happens, like right when I buy a brand new table, like they could barely fit it through the door at my apartment right now, so that should have been a given for me to just say, Never mind, like you guys can just take it back and I'll return it because Restoration Hardware is actually really good about returning furniture. So I should have just done that, but they fit it through the door and I honestly have not even really used it since I got it. And anyway, so it just cannot be brought to the new house because it won't even fit in the space. And I just don't know what I'm going to do now, if I should try to sell it before I move or if I should just put it in storage at my dad's house. So we are gonna have to see with that. Also, my bed, I have the Restoration Hardware Cloud Bed and I have a King, which is already a really big bed, but the Cloud Bed adds on an additional like two feet to it because of the like cloud part of it, like the um, frame around it. And the bedroom, like the main bedroom is just like, the way that it's set up i'll explain it to you guys more when i'm in the house and i can be able to like show you like what the window looks like in the bedroom because it's like a big rectangular window but it's not centered in the wall so i can't like put the bed underneath the window and have it centered and then if i turn the bed the other way the width is like eight feet across and my bed is like literally just shy of eight feet so I just don't know what's gonna happen with the bedroom so that was something that I found out this morning of course two days before I move and I definitely should have measured like right when I knew that I was gonna be moving back in August so I could have like figured all this stuff out but of course I decided to do it the week that I move and um, everything will be okay I know it's gonna all work out but yeah that's just <laughs> What happened this morning but i'm really excited to move and i'm excited to bring you guys along for this new chapter and i know that it's gonna be a lot of fun and you guys are gonna love 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 the new house i was already getting dms being like thank god you're leaving that apartment like i did not like it anyway and honestly i feel the same i had so many problems and i should have never re-signed my lease but luckily i got to move out and everything's fine so we're putting that in the past. I'm just so excited to bring you guys to the new house. And I'm heading out right now actually to go pick up some trash bags. I ran out of trash bags, so I have to go get those. And then gonna just come home and start 
packing everything. Hey you guys, good morning. The last day in the apartment. So much packing is happening today. And I'm really excited to just get everything in the boxes and not have to worry about it because yesterday after I got home, I had so much work to do on my computer. I was like, I don't wanna get behind on my YouTube videos. So I edited two vlogs that I have. I just uploaded one last night, my New York Fashion Week vlog. And then I just wanted to make sure that I did all of like my computer work because I know today and tomorrow, I'm kind of gonna be just focused on like moving. And I didn't wanna get behind on YouTube because I feel like I've been consistent lately and I wanna stay that way and like keep up with my editing. So I did that, but we're doing skincare this morning. I just made a really, really good smoothie. You guys, it's so, so good. I did banana, blueberries, strawberries, flax, coconut water, and this new collagen powder that I just got by Agent Nature and it's so, good and i'm excited to start using it i've been like waiting for it to come in for the past few days but it just has like a bunch of benefits obviously for like hair skin and nails and stuff like that so i will link it down below also i've been using these miracle patches by rayel lately these ones right here and they're so good like i had a huge bump right here you can kind of see it's, it's only red but it's like not raised anymore and I put one on last night and it literally made the bump completely go away. So I have been loving those. They've been my favorite forever and I just got two new packs. So I've been using them and they've like made any um, like breakouts that I've had go away. And I really need to go get a facial because I have so much like acne scarring on my face. Sorry, I know you guys probably don't care, but <laughs> It's just something that like I see myself in the camera every single day and when I vlog, I notice it because I'm looking at myself constantly and um, I'm not gonna like cover it up with makeup or anything because I hate wearing makeup during the day if I'm not, if I don't have anywhere to go or anything like in particular to do. I don't like putting makeup on my face because it just makes my face feel icky and I feel like it like clogs my pores so that's that but it's just life and I want to be able to be open with you guys about like things that I deal with and things that bother me in case you are going through the same thing or something similar so you know that you're not alone in feeling that way so <laughs> that's that it's just so annoying because I've literally never dealt with skin issues in the past until I like completely changed my diet a few years ago in like 2019 and i like cut out dairy meat and i did food combining and it just like literally messed up my skin so bad i've never had acne in my life until that part of my life and i've been using the same skincare and it's not the skincare that's causing all of this like it's internal and a lot of acne stems from things that are going on internally in your body i just need to get my hormones checked honestly and start taking like some vitamins and supplements <laughs> to help um but yeah. anyway i'm gonna wash my face start getting ready for the day this is the cleanser that i use it's the lira bio enzyme cleanser i will link my esthetician's shop down below because you can buy a lot of the products that i use on her website and if you're in Boston, you should definitely go get a facial from her. Her name is Alexis Robertson. She is on Newberry Street and she's amazing. She has helped my skin so much, like just with um, like different things over the years. So anyway, okay. And this is what I do during the day for my routine. I keep it super simple and I do this every single day. So this is the Alto Defense Serum from Skin Better Science. I do two times this. And this is a really, sorry for this angle also. I know it's like not the best, but this is a really good vitamin C serum. And it has so many other benefits, but you can use this morning and night. I only use it in the morning. And then for moisturizer, I use the Trio Rebalancing Moisture Treatment. And if you follow my esthetician on Instagram, 
she will always post like the benefits of these products so it's super helpful just to be able to see like what they do because um she's just always posting like the benefits of the ingredients and stuff like that and how they work in your routine and like what they're going to do to your skin because i honestly forget off of the top of my head but i love these two and then for sunscreen i like to just put on um obviously sunscreen super important but i've been using the is is clinical is it is or is <laughs> i have no idea but i've been using this sunscreen and it's a translucent so i mean it's kind of white but i have been using the tinted sunscreen from elta md um but sometimes i don't know i just like don't like having the tint on my face it's been like freaking me out lately i don't know why at the new house i really want to get a tripod for the bathroom so when i'm doing like my makeup and my skincare i'm not like you don't see me from the worst angle in the world okay i'm just gonna put my hair back in a clip my hair has been getting so long it's crazy how fast my hair grows but I'm in my long hair era, which I haven't been in so long. And I'm excited because I really have missed my long hair. But I'm just gonna put it back in a clip, a little MEJ clip. These are my favorite. It takes me like seven tries because look what happens. Okay, that is as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna do some Laneige lip mask. This has been in my routine for like five years almost yeah five years which is so crazy i have never bought a product so many times for that long of time i'm obsessed with this stuff and that is all out for the day today i just have on blue lemon pants yoga pants they're flare and then this cute little cardigan from aloe and I have on an aloe bra underneath. I need to go get like food or something also. I'm like debating whether or not I should go get my nails done because they look so bad right now and I desperately need them done. But also I'm like, I have so much to do. I have so much to pack. It's 11.42 and I'm, the movers come tomorrow morning at 7.30 and I don't even have anything in boxes. So... I'm just like avoiding it. I'm like, I want to get my nails done. I want to go get lunch. I just got a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks because it was feeling like fall today. And now it's like hot out. And honestly, I didn't love this coffee. Like it looks good. The top of it, how it has like the spices or like cinnamon, whatever. And then the cream. But... I don't know something about it i just i don't love starbucks coffee to begin with so i don't know but anyway i need to go get food regardless because i have no food in the house so i think i'm gonna go pick up some food and then when we get home we're gonna start packing but i'm so so excited to move literally every single day since mac and i found out that we were moving into the new house like whenever we go for drives and stuff i will always ask him like can you drive by the new house can you drive by the new house and i want him to like drive by it so i can just look at it and it's finally here where we're moving tomorrow like one more sleep until we move and i'm so so excited and it's just gonna be so much fun and eee! but anyway also i'm very disappointed about this coffee. I don't like it at all.
cleaning out my room right now guys <laughs> when you really like look at all the stuff that you own and you're like putting it in boxes it's just crazy to actually see like I have so much stuff I'm putting all of my shoes into boxes right now and I have all my clothes from my dresser in these two boxes and then I have two boxes of shoes I'm finishing up shoes right now and also I'm gonna start a box for my boots and then do a box for bags I have all these bags right here I have so many bags and I just don't know what to do because there are a bunch of them that I just don't use anymore and I want to get rid of and sell and I have sold on the real real in the past but I just feel like with the percentages that they give back I feel like you like make nothing on the items that you're selling so I just don't know what to do because I have a few bags that I want to sell. I just don't know how to sell them or what to sell them on. So let me know if you'd be interested in me posting them like on Poshmark or something. I feel like maybe that would work. Also, I have a huge bag of shoes that are going to be posted on my Poshmark as well. I'm going to just go through all my clothes too once Graydon gets here. And he is going to help me and tell me like what to get rid of and what to keep because I feel like I definitely have some pieces in here that i do not need to bring with me also this closet is just an absolute mess um i can't wait to go to the new house because the closet has like better organization like i just have always thought that these were super weird like these hanging twisted like hanging racks also just like random shelves and then these drawers right here so i'm excited to go to the new house and like organize my closet because it's like a lot better storage and yeah so that's a little update right now I just cleaned out the whole entire bathroom put all the bathroom items into this box right here so everything is all cleared out of the drawers and cabinets and then I took everything out of the shower as well so the bathroom's done and I guess like the hardest part really is just going through all of my clothes because then the kitchen stuff I feel like is pretty easy I just need to tackle this before I get anything else done this is literally insane you guys this is my purse collection <laughs> like this is crazy I have so many bags that I have accumulated over the years and I've also gotten rid of so many but like this is insane okay you guys update we're taking a break because we need to go get a snack but I have all these boxes filled up this is all stuff that I am posh marking right here and then I just have more beauty products that I need to pack this stuff's all packed and then this is what my closet looks like I have like two wardrobes that I got which if you don't know what that is they're like um, stand-up closets that the movers just literally take all of the stuff on the hangers and they just put them into the wardrobes and I did it last time I moved and it was so so helpful so I'm doing that again so I just still have obviously all my clothes hanging I'm gonna put this stuff in boxes when I get back and then yeah we're pretty much all done in the closet guys i'm literally crying i just want to leave the house in my slippers <laughs> i need to find my flip-flops i don't know where they are okay you guys my bedroom is done and so is my closet everything's all packed up and the bathroom's done <laughs> Thank you. 
perfect. Oh, I can throw this stuff in there too, right? These are open. No, we can throw those away. These are open. Uh, are oh, open. wait, I'll put these right here. Is this empty? Yeah. Cool. You love Auntie's house. Do you want these people over? I was thinking that he should tonight. That's what I was thinking. Because too. moving early, like, Rosie, cousin Auntie. Amy, what are you doing? He's like looking at like your flowers or something. I don't have anything here. Curious tonight. Emma, it looks really good. I love it. Oh, I just love how like clean it is and how you don't have so much stuff. What? Oh my god. I know. Guess who packed up all my stuff today? Grady. Packed up everything. Like he did so good. Emma, your apartment looks good. I love it. Cute. Our first. Is this your first drink you got here? Yeah. Hey. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Love you. Yum. Yum. Wow. Take a picture. Hi guys, I just got back from Emma's, and Milo's not even here. <laughs> it's so weird that he's sleeping over her house, well, her apartment, and he's not here with us because it's so quiet but i want to give you guys an apartment update i'm finishing up some laundry right now but this is kind of like the progress of the kitchen so this whole entire like shelving unit is all completely cleaned out and i just have to put the rest of this stuff in boxes like get all that organized cleaned out all the cabinets except for the glasses and the plates which i have to do right now put them in a box but everything is all cleaned out of the pantry also everything is cleaned out of these two drawers right here and like i said i just still have to do the cups like the glassware and then the plates which are over there i think i'm gonna bring the coffee machine over myself just put it in my car and just like put it inside because i'm gonna want coffee in the morning also it won't fit in a box i don't feel like like taking this whole thing apart everything's already like set up the way it needs to be so i'm just gonna bring that over and then um, yeah that's pretty much it so i feel like the biggest pieces that take up the most space are like the furniture Okay, you guys, I need to officially end off this first moving vlog because the state of the apartment is just like so messy. It's so dusty and dirty. I don't even know how. It's just like when the furniture got all moved, like the dust that was underneath is insane. So the apartment is almost empty. They're just bringing out the rug and a few more pieces that are just like miscellaneous. And then we're all packed up and ready to go to the new house which i'm so excited about so stay tuned for more moving vlogs my next video is definitely going to be a full empty house tour as well as like moving day getting settled stuff like that so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already you definitely don't want to miss out and follow me on instagram i always have it linked so you guys can see little updates pictures of the house if you are interested so i love you guys so much thanks for watching i'll see you in my next vlog